throw. So uh, through the magic of eBay and computers and laptops, <laughs> we have a green tree here because uh, the owner reprogrammed or had someone else reprogram remote in, reprogram the gateway. So now the car does know that we have all of these uh, ICMV, like the uh, dynamic system stuff. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five modules on the flex ray, so 10 total. We only have two codes left, let's see what they are. ECM is BSD data bus communications fault and ICM uh, check some incorrect receiver ICM transmitter instrument panel. Integrated chassis management, tail mod, tail light module inner left, no one cares. So BSD data bus, that is responsible for the alternator communication and the oil quality sensor or oil level sensor. And let's see the diagrams and see if we can figure out this last problem. Okay, so this is the starting and charging redrawn diagram. This violet wire is the BSD single wire bus. There's the engine computer, alternator, and oil condition sensor bottom of engine. Now, computer data lines show, no, not computer data lines. We go to engine control. So we have a LIN bus signal pin 37 blue computer data line system. That's separate. That's the LIN bus that goes to the intelligent battery sensor and the radiator shutter drive unit. We had a code for this before, now we don't. So we're not worried about the LIN bus, which actually looks to be communicating. I'm hooked to it right at the intelligent battery sensor back here. But the BSD is at 1.4 volts. Okay, so we don't see any communications or talking on that violet wire. So at the alternator, now there was a massive coolant leak here at some point, so this connector looks kind of crappy, corroded. The pin might be a little spread open. Yeah, that's really crusty, so we'll have to clean that out and you know put this pin back and kind of close it back up. But I'm measuring on the wire with a piercing probe and we just see 1.4 volts. Under the car we have the intelligent oil sensor or whatever oil quality sensor and unplug that. So that has uh, both the purple purple wire coming in here and that didn't seem to make a difference. So let's just plug it back in temporarily. Okay, we were at 1.4 before. Let's see, back up, back up. Right there, I plugged it in, so something happened. Very slight drop down to 700 millivolts from 1.3. So that's what it looks like. Uh, you can make heads or tails out of that. Not really. I think it's just noise. So we have to figure out what, why is, what is causing this bus not to respond. Why is it at 1.4 volts? Is that a good voltage or not? You can see the linen goes from 0 to 8. So we might have to go to the engine computer and probe that purple wire there. Okay, so I'm at the engine computer on the violet wire. This is definitely the right one because it's violet, blue, yellow, yellow, green. And on our wiring diagram, we can use sequencing. Violet, blue, yellow, yellow, green. Oh, that's the CAS bus signal. Ah, oh, I got, got a little excited. Sorry. Let's find the purple uh, BDS wire. So diagnosing this BSD issue. Unplug the alternator. We unplugged 
oil level sensor. Nothing changed. We plugged in a replacement engine computer and boom! <laughs> we have signals. 0 to 12 volts <clears throat> square wave. So this is a known good BSD waveform. I'm going to save it and we'll know for later what to look for. Now, <clears throat> let's plug in this oil level sensor. Plug it in. Look at that. It takes down the entire network close, you know, right about where it was before. About one, one volt. We unplug it. Back in action. The owner also brought an OEM oil level sensor. Let's plug that in. Beautiful. And let's plug in our alternator. Okay, so now in the ECM, let's scan it for codes. That BSD code should be gone. Read fault code. We got wrong encoder, blah, 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 blah. Let's Let's just clear the DTCs. Yep, so variant not found. Immobilizer protection against tampering. Response implausible. But our BSD is back. That is very, very cool. So I'm wondering if the oil level sensor went bad and obviously it's pulling down the entire network and the new one is not. If that cooked the engine computer, that's that would be ridiculous, but anything's possible. Let's uh, take a test light and well, we can do like a short to ground check because on the old computers, actually from test light from battery positive, it was lighting it dimly and went up to about six volts. But that is a known good. Waveform, we'll uh, we'll save it. So this thing needs a new oil level pressure or level sensor for sure. We'll plug in the old computer. If the network is down, it also needs a computer coded and programmed. I guess you could do it here through the eBay guy again. <laughs> then the car would be completely fixed. But uh, this is nuts. We already have three bad modules, a bad sensor. Uh, what else? Everything needs to be programmed. Welcome to the uh, world of BMW. So, plugged in the old oil level sensor. Now the test light from battery positive. If I go on that communication line, it'll dimly light and we'll get this pattern. And back down to, whatever, one volt. And if we short it out, We'll be up to about 8 volts. There we go. It's reading now. It's reading right now? Yeah. It says oil engine oil level below minimal. Please add oil. Are you kidding? Yeah. So let's short it on them. It's reading right now? Yeah. It's, it's saying... Okay. Here, No test light. Re redo the measurement. Okay. It's, it's doing it automatically. But how? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. There's no way that's a, a valid signal. Is it going to quit right now because I, I don't have a short to ground? Uh, it still says in your oil level below minimum. Should I turn off the cycle? Can you see? Uh, let's see. And I'll keep the key on. I short it out. So I just want to save that waveform. So this is with the old oil level sensor. Wait. So I'm going to save this. So let's, um, what if we play that alternator? <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. So we have the, a new Reman alternator here. We got power ground and I plugged it into the BSD wire single pin. 
as soon as I did that, and the new level sensors under here is plugged in, the car is starting to read oil level, right? Let's see. It actually read the oil level because, you know, the sensor is just hanging out. So it just says it's below, below the minimum. So do we have a bad sensor, a bad engine computer, and a bad alternator? Is that humanly possible? <sighs> okay, I'm just going to unplug this alternator, right? And I'm going to plug in the old one. Okay, here we go. Tell me if uh, if it can still read the oil level. We'll wait a little bit. Can you like force it to do another measurement? Uh, not without cycling the key, I think. Okay, cycle the key. Do you have to wait for it to go to sleep completely? I think so. Okay. So the story gets more interesting. The owner, the current owner said he bought this car and the previous owner said he fixed the misfire and then these random problems started happening, right? You couldn't measure the oil level. Uh, what else what, did it have? The, the v, I guess the VTG not communicating. I don't know if that's related or not. But in service info there's a note that leaving off engine grounds or grounds that go to the valve cover can lead to what cooking the alternator the oil level sensor and the engine computer and or the engine computer and when the owner got it he found the grounds were not attached to the block and now we're finding bad alternator bad oil level sensor and bad engine computer Again, it blows my mind, but that looks like that's what's going on. Because we only get any communication with this replacement computer. We see that the oil level sensor is definitely shorted out. The new one does not pull the test light to ground. And it only did the oil level check when we connected the new alternator. With the other one, it was saying alternator missing. So all these things need to be connected. They all need to work for the car to measure its oil level because they didn't include a dipstick. Yes, exactly. So I think that's the diagnosis. <laughs> so what are we up to now? VTG, gateway module, engine computer, alternator, oil level sensor. Is that it, Mohammed? So far. So far? So far. Is that enough or do you want to keep, <laughs> no, keep the car here for one more day? This is, this, I mean, I, my mind is completely blown. I've never seen so many failed components on one car at the same time. But the car still drives, which is even more impressive. Cool. So, yeah, well, we can turn the key back on, try to do an oil level measurement with the old alternator. It's measuring it. It is measuring it? It's measuring the oil level. Are you sure? Mother says out here. I'm still connected to that pin. Okay. Let's read fault code. Is this BS? Let's see. BSD message alternator missing. BSD data bus communications fault. So I just set those. They were clear just a second ago. Uh, so it's actually doing its oil level measurement. Okay, we'll we'll see if it finishes. This is what it did last time when I first connected that DME. Okay, okay. So it was doing this and then went from this to Nothing. service adjustment interval. So not able to basically not able to measure. Okay, so we still don't know if it's going to uh, successfully measure the oil level, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so alternator yep, VSD message alternator missing is back, even though the original alternator is connected, everything's good. So, connecting this alternator and that oil level sensor did the trick, brought everything back to life. Kudos to the owner for bringing a whole trunk load of spare parts. We needed them all. 
Now again, he's going to replace all his stuff uh, back home, but the diagnosis is complete. I have no words. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. So a little bonus footage. The car actually went through its oil level measurement, so perhaps we don't need a new alternator. Even if it says alternator missing, who gives a crap as long as you can measure your oil level? Does it need a new engine computer? Let's turn the car off, let it go to sleep, plug in the original computer, and just verify that there's no BSD uh, signals on, on that bus. Okay, so now we just put in the old computer. Still the original alternator is plugged in and the new oil level sensor. Let's see what happens to our signals. Moment of truth here. Ah, uh, your computer's dead. <laughs> yep, so BSD is uh, dead in the water. Let's see, ECM, enter. Continue, this is 010910, so the other one's two years newer. Read fault code. It just says permanent BSD data bus communications fault, CD9304. And the LIN bus communications fault also comes back intermittently or permanently. So this computer is definitely messed up because I guess the grounds were left off and the engine was started. So sorry for the bad news, man. You're going to have to get that cloned, but you got to pay to play with this kind of stuff. But at least the diagnosis is guaranteed, so you know exactly what to replace. No more guesswork, no more parts cannon, but still expensive. <laughs> it is what it is. All right, well, we'll, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.